Is it 6.30? Come on, we'll get us. Oh, here they come. Oh, look at them. Oh, look at that one. Oh, there, 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 there. All right, here's the fun part. We get to see the penny alligators in the bushes right here. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, they know he. They recognize him. Oh, oh, oh. 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 Oh, oh, Hello everybody, my name is Chris. I'm a gator wrestler and entertainer over at Gatorland. And if you've never been there, step and check it out. It's only about seven miles away. Right in front of the hotel right here, this is Osceola Parkway. If you want to check it out, all you have to do is take a right to hit Orange Blossom Trail. You're on the right here. It's actually where all these alligators are from too. Now, most of the gators in here between two and a half and three years old. I know it's because most of the gators in here are between two and a half and about three feet long. Look at their mouths so big. Now, good job. Alligators will usually grow about a foot a year until they get about eight feet long and they'll start slowing way, way down. But like in most reptiles, these guys will grow their entire lives. Just kind of tough to notice on a 13 foot, thousand pound gator that's growing a half an inch a year. Now, today on the diet, these are crocodile pellets. They're designed for crocodilian species, including alligators. So the crude proteins and fats that these guys need, they'll get out in the wild. Now, even though these alligators are small like this, they're still capable of doing a lot of damage. Alligators in size would have no problems taking off a finger, so I'm definitely not doing this because I'm smart. There you go. Now, I mentioned I was a gator wrestler. Obviously, the ones we wrestle are quite a bit bigger than these guys. Most of the ones in our arena right now are between 7 and 8 feet long, between 120 and about 180 pounds. Now, a 180 pound gator might not seem like a big deal, but alligators are 90% muscle. We're about 70% water, so every time you get in the water with them, they definitely have a fight on their hands. Now, during the show, I'll do all kinds of crazy and insane stunts, risking life and limb for your entertainment. It's one of the things we love to do down here in Florida oh, for God. minimum wage. For <laughs> minimum wage? <laughs> That's not a joke. <laughs> now, after joke. the show, we'll grab you guys another gator, bring it up on the sand. You can actually come out and sit on the back of it. It's called Rookie Wrestling. The only place in the world you know if you can sit on a gator at least without getting arrested or eaten. So we'll watch right here where it's at. Now I'll get rid of some of the myths you guys hear about alligators. Chances are you're not from Florida, so you probably heard all the horror stories. And assume that it's the truth. Most people that see alligators, whether they're from Florida or not from Florida, they have no idea what they're talking about. Everything you guys hear, for the most part, I'm just considered a myth. Now, like, uh, oh, if the gator is chasing me, I just run zigzag. You guys ever heard that before, run zigzag? Yeah, that was made up by someone who wanted to Alligators run zigzag just fine. Run straight or trip the person you're with and walk. That works too. <laughs> now really, you're not going to have an alligator chase you. There's no reason for it. Alligators right, have a huge natural fear of humans. The only reason these guys approach me, they know who I am. They recognize my uniform, they recognize my voice, even though it's kind of going out right now. They know I'm the guy with the food. Now really, when I first put these alligators in here, they'll go and hide anywhere from a couple of weeks to a couple of months before they start approaching. Now if you went up to a 14-foot, you know, thousand-pound meter down in the Everglades, you do one of two things, they ignore you or run from you. Now don't get me wrong, every once in a while people do get hurt by alligators, but what it comes down to is it's their fault. Alligators aren't going to sneak up on you and come out of nowhere. You know, they're not hunting us, they don't look at us as a food source. Now crocodiles on the other hand, that's a different story. Now these are all crocodiles in here, I would not be doing it like this. I'd be standing up here throwing food down to them so I could actually keep my fingers. <laughs> crocodiles are a lot faster, they're a lot more aggressive. Now, realistically, one person is killed every three years from a gator. 200 people are killed every three years from white tail deer. And that's not from car accidents. So, you have a 201 shot more getting attacked and killed by a deer anywhere in the United States than the two and a half million alligators we have right here in Florida. So, as long as you leave them alone, they'll leave you alone. Now, if you put them against like Nile crocodiles, one person every three years, about 1,200 people every three years die from Nile crocodiles. So, it's completely, it's like night and day with these guys. Now, people get hurt usually because they're doing something crazy, like swimming at night. That's when alligators hunt. You see something flopping around the water, they don't know how big they are. They swim up before they know they have something huge. They thought they just had a little raccoon or a possum. 
Kanye is trying to throw her out of four. You guys don't need to go to the lakes, ponds, and rivers. Just as the body yeah, walking down here has gator in it, because more than likely it does. Now, you never want to go near a mother, the buyer, master, buyer, young. They're very protective over the little ones until they're about two years old. Now, a big thing, too, you know, people trying to catch these guys, hurt them, wrestle them like we do in the park. You don't want to do that. Like I said, alligators are 90% muscle or about 70% water. And alligators actually have the strongest bite on the planet. Now, the seven and eight footers that I wrestle, they're usually for the most part between 150 and 200 pounds. They're crushing crowds around 1,500 to 2,000 pounds per square inch. That's equivalent to a 14 foot green white shark and 27 African lion. So you definitely don't want to mess with them. But on the other hand, these guys are kind of the puppy dogs of the crocodilian species. They're not going to go out of their way to hurt you. If you get too close, yeah, if you jump on them, they're going to grab it. They're going to defend themselves. Other than that, these guys are fine. Now, you're probably wondering why there's turtles in here with these guys. Yeah. Out in the wild, they would definitely be a food source. But the fact that I come out here three times a week and feed all these alligators keeps the turtles safe. Well, well as you know, they're growing about a foot a year. We're going to eat something smaller than the size of your fist every month. That's it. Even a big one guy mentioned a couple of times, you know, 14 and 15 foot gators. You see these huge alligators on TV or out in the park. They'll only eat out in the wild about five or six times a year. Something about the size of a football. They really don't need a lot of food to survive. The reason they can do this, unlike most other reptiles that have four legs like these guys, like little lizards that they eat all the time, they're just sitting up in the sun and getting some energy from it. They can actually store the sun's energy right in all these little bumps going down their back. As it comes up, you see all those little bumps? Those are called scoots. They kind of work like mini solar panels. They can actually store the energy, release it as they eat. Other thing these guys can do is control their metabolism based on the weather. Now in here it's about 75 degrees. These guys can hold their breath for about an hour or two. Now if it was 30 or 40 degrees in here every day for about a week, they can slow their metabolism down to a crawl and hold their breath for about 20 hours. Just coming up for a couple hours of sunlight for energy, they completely stop eating, they're fine. It's actually how these guys outlive the dinosaurs and survive the ice age. Now alligators really haven't changed at all, even in size the past 80 years. Just like living breathing dinosaurs, it's crazy. Yeah, one thing we're pretty excited about at the park, besides being the alligator capital of the world, we've got just about 2,000 gators there, most of them over 10 to 12 feet. Our biggest gators we have out there are around 15, but we have the largest collection of white alligators in the world. Now other parks and zoos, they have albinos, that's not what I'm talking about, not a lack of pen or the red eyes. These guys are leucistic, which means their skin tone is actually white, so they have blue eyes. So only 12 in the world, we have four of them, and all four of ours are between 10 to 12 feet long. Now, there's actually a lot to do with the park. It's a 110 acre park, so there's plenty going on. We do several shows besides the Gator Jump Roo Show. One of the other shows that we do is a Gator Jump Roo Show where you can actually have all the alligators out here. And all the gators are our up close encounter show. We get animals from all over the place, and a lot of times we don't know what's in these boxes or bags, so we make a show out of it every day. Any donations we have, you guys get to see what we get right when you do. So it scares us, scares you guys. Oh, are you coming? Now, unlike everything else in Florida, too, it's not going to kill your pocketbook to get in. If you guys are from Florida, it's $15 to get into the park. If you're not from Florida, all you have to do, the back walkway right here, go down the stairs. I've got six baby alligators down there in one of the tanks and some local snakes. Inside that room, there's some brochures. On the back, it's $250 off of a group, up to six people. So you guys can actually get in the park for $20. And we have a train that goes to the park. We have a water park. There's plenty to do. It's a great after attraction not going to come in your pocketbook. And you guys can interact with just about everything in the park. There we go. All right, I got one piece left here, guys. Let's see if I can't get to the smaller ones in here. And here we go. All right, guys, I'm out of food. Thanks for coming out. Looking forward to seeing you over in Gatorland. Thank you. Uh, what did you think that? That poor guy. Today was crocodile pellets. It's just like a, kind of like a dry dog food with a crocodilian species. What's that? Um, different kinds of uh, fish and chicken. Yep. Yeah. So I'll do that for them a couple times a month. It's a lot of calcium and vitamins they need. And other than that, it's a steak and a steak and chicken. Every day they eat? Every day they eat. I'm going to go back to the 